And turning now to the deadly bridge collapse in Baltimore, President Biden toured the wreckage today by helicopter, getting an aerial view of the damage. He also met with the families of the six victims. He vowed that the federal government would not rest until the bridge has been rebuilt. I'm here to say your nation has your back, and I mean it. Your nation has your back. This comes as authorities recover the body of another victim, according to his family. Let's go to NBC News correspondent George Solis for the latest. And Valerie, the family of Maynard Sandoval Suazo confirming to NBC News that their loved one was found today. They now have to wait a day or two for the body to be processed, according to the brother who told me earlier this morning they were asked to come to an undisclosed location. What's unclear at this point is whether or not that body was found in a vehicle. As we learned, two of the bodies were shortly after that bridge collapse. All this comes as today I actually spoke with one of the survivors of the Francis Scott Key collapse, Julio Cervantes, who was bedridden last week when I spoke with his wife. Today, answering the door, the family's still not commenting as they're still recovering from the loss of two of their loved ones on the bridge, but again, appearing in much better spirits. And all of this, of course, unfolding as President Biden was in town today, not only getting a briefing on some of the recovery efforts there at the site of where the bridge was, but also an update on how soon things may start to move with the cleanup, but also meeting with the family members, wearing that role of consoler in chief, reflecting on his own personal loss as he talked to these family members. And all of this here, Valerie, as there is a vigil and a memorial plan this weekend at this mural that sits here behind me. This is where the community has come to pay their respects to those men, those men that lost their lives there and the four that were identified, now three by our count. And again, hundreds are expected here. Again, this bridge meant so much to this community beyond just the infrastructure. This was a part of the Baltimore community. It really was a symbol of pride. And again, the investigation into all of this still ongoing. The NTSB saying a preliminary report expected in the two to three weeks. But of course, the comprehensive investigation could take years. Valerie. Okay, George Solis, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.